what is up guys my name is Mets gaming welcome back to the channel guys today you guys should already know what's coming we are doing my diamond dynasty wish list for mlb the show 19 so if you guys know i did this for road to the show and franchise both of those videos blew up so i guess we may as well do it for diamond dynasty um so before we hop in guys make sure you hit that like button and subscribe and then we'll hop right into the list so coming at number one on my list i have the computer difficulty so if you guys played, you kind of know that since I'm, when, when Immortals came out, you knew that the computer difficulty got extremely hard, especially if you're trying to do, on, do like me and play on Rookie to Grind Challenges. It would feel like it's Hall of Fame. You wouldn't get pitches in the strike zone. So I think they need to fix that, the difficulties for a road, for a computer. Second thing, they have to take out Immortals. I know there's a lot of controversy on how Immortals broke the game this year and how Immortals weren't a step in the right direction. I agree with Immortals were broken. They were impossible to grind for. They took hours and hours to grind for. And then it's like you would face one and they would just hit a home run. So it's, and then it's whenever you draft them in VR, it's like they do nothing. So Immortals have to be taken out of the game. They are not really, I mean, they were experimenting last year. I don't think they were taking a step in the right direction. The next thing, easier to make stubs off games. So if you guys play on Show 17, you know what I'm talking about. It was very easy to make stubs. If you would play a game, win a game, maybe make 2,000 stubs or so, buy yourself a nice gold player, MLB The Show, win a game, by the same run, you would probably make 400 stubs. It's completely different, and it was not really great. They need to bring that back. Number four is the ability to create multiple creative players in Road to the Show. So if you guys know you can create one player um, in Road to the Show this year, they did a nice job kind of streamlining it so that it's like you can't have an automatic 99 overall you get caps and you gotta grind for it so I thought that was really good but you should be able to create two or three different creative players number five is of course better pack luck um so this year I thought for packs were just terrible it, you couldn't pull a single card if your life depended on it and it just, it was ridiculous to pack. Like, I think I opened a 100 pack bundle and I pulled one gold out of it. And a couple, like, diamond bats. And the pack luck was just terrible. Number six on my list, I think this is actually in the game. And that is multiple lineups. So, you guys, you know, if you want multiple lineups, like maybe you want, like, a team building lineup and just a regular grinding lineup, you can have the ability to switch through and not go through each and every player. I think it's in the game because I played the beta and I'm pretty sure it was in there. I'm not 100% sure though. Um, if you guys want to see a video on the beta, please make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments. I can easily make that. Um, number 7 is Ranked Seasons kind of placement. So if you guys played, you know what Ranked Seasons is. Ranked Seasons is based on this thing called, I think it's like rating. I think it should be based off record, because I can't count the amount of times I've played terrible opponents that have either quit or did something that I barely got rating off. Like, there was a season I think I was like 10-0 and and I was only, I didn't even get to World Series. And it was just ridiculous. Like, it should be based off record instead of rating. Number 8 on my list is shorter pause time. So if you guys know in the game, back when we the show 17, you had 2 minutes. And only show 18, I kept on giving you time. Which is very annoying if your opponent wanted to be difficult and just pause until they had a couple seconds left because they knew as the game progressed they would just get more and more time. So I feel like they have to they have to stop that and just keep it at that two minute max and don't allow people to pause for that long. Almost there. Number nine, your the ability to sell ranked season rewards. Uh, this is one I'm not 100% sure if you could. I didn't try it, but I don't believe you could sell ranked seasons rewards. Let me know down below in the comments if I was right or wrong. Um, but the ability to sell them, because you know, if you make Hall of Fame, you might want to sell that reward you get for stubs. And I don't believe you have the ability, but I'm not 100% sure. Number 10 on my list is a three diamond BR draft. So, Battle Royale, pretty much every draft you are going to get three diamonds. They should just make it three diamonds. Because with your gold round, you're pretty much guaranteed third diamond so this is something that they can easily fix just add a third diamond round gold rounds maybe don't give you diamonds but yeah that's my list guys let me know what you think down in the comments below i will see you guys on monday for another mlb monday breakdown but until then peace out